All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is Monday, September 6th, 2019, and we're back in the new discussion video. So the MLB regular season is coming to a close in a few weeks. Not yet, but in a few weeks, specifically October 4th, for the Yankees, the postseason will begin. Mark your calendars. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't felt this good about a Yankee team entering October in a long time. Probably for as long as I've been alive, honestly. And before you guys mentioned 2009, that club had some pretty bad starting pitching as well. And they definitely didn't have the most dominant bullpen in baseball that the Yankees have right now. A bullpen that's going to get back Dylan Batances if all things go well. No setbacks within a couple weeks. But what the 2009 club did have for sure was an ace in CC Sabathia. Now, not to give a history lesson, but in 2009, CC posted a 19-8 record with a 3.37 ERA, posting a 6.2 war in 34 starts, and he also went on to win the ALCS MVP award that postseason. Um, and quick little side note, a lot of fans give CC a lot of crap. That guy was an ace from 2009 to 2012. You had a game to win, you gave CC the ball. So keep that in mind when anybody talks trash about CC. CC's been a very good Yankee. So good where I wouldn't be surprised if his number 52 ends up in Monument Park one day. Anyways, CeCe's days as an ace are long gone now, but fortunately the Yankees do have an ace in 2019. His name is Luis Severino, and he's set to be back in the Bronx very soon. Yes, the Yankees' 24-year-old ace is hopeful to return for the next two weeks as they prepare for an October run that will hopefully take up the entire month. Now, contrary to what some remember, Severino posted a really nice 2018 season. Over 32 starts, Severino went 19-8 with a 3.37 ERA, striking out 220 hitters in 191 innings. Now, unfortunately, his season did not end well as he was shelled by the Red Sox in Game 3 of the ALDS in a game where he was apparently tipping pitches. Now, enter 2019, he had some other issues to deal with, injuries. In spring training, he was shut down with rotator cuff inflammation. Not good. He was able to avoid surgery, but when he tried rehabbing that, he was once again shut down, this time with a lat issue. Now, in the final month of the season, it finally seems that Severino will pitch in the big leagues for the first time this year, and boy, will he be a big help for the Yankees' chances in October. Now, this is if all goes well, no setbacks or nothing, we can only hope. Anyway, so we're talking about a Yankee team who currently owns the best record in baseball, adding an ace with electric stuff. Now, not to mention, he'll have a full season of rest under his belt, which could do wonders for him, especially considering, in my opinion at least, that he was burnt out down the stretch last year. So, let's make up a rotation for October. Now, I'm not sure if the Yankees will put all the pressure on Severino to pitch Game 1, so for LDS Game 1, I'm giving the ball to the postseason hero, my personal favorite Yankee pitcher of all time, who just surpassed on my list, Andy Pettit, who's a close second. Masahiro Tanaka, who owns a career 1.50 ERA in 30 postseason innings. This guy has been tremendous in the postseason for the Yankees. That's why you pay him the big bucks to pitch in big games like that. Now, for game two, that's when I'm going to give the ball to Luis Severino. Sounds like a pretty good one-two punch to me. Maybe not as good as Verlander and Garrett Cole, but honestly, I feel good matching up against those two with Tanaka and Severino. Now, for Game 3, I figured they'll go with James Paxton, who's really been throwing the ball well lately. He's 7-0 in his last 7 starts. His last game out, um, he was tremendous. Struck out 12 against the Rangers, 7 scores, only allowed 1 hit. He was so, so good, and he looked really good, too. And then for Game 4, depending on the circumstances, either Domingo Herman can start, or they can use Tanaka on short rest if they want to. I don't see that happening. Um, or they could also go with a bullpen day. So that would give us a rotation of Tanaka, Severino, then you have an off day, Paxton for game three, and then either Herman or a bullpen day, maybe it's knock if you want to start him on short rest. That would, you know, we'll have to see. Um, anyway, so yeah, believe it or not, the Yankees starting pitching may actually be able to survive um, this October. Now, not to mention their elite bullpen uh, will soon feature Dylan Batances, as I mentioned before. Um, so you have a pretty nice starting staff, and you definitely have a really, really good bullpen, definitely the best bullpen in baseball, so that'll really help in October. Now, combine that with their stellar offense, and you have to be feeling pretty solid about the Yankees' chances. So. All right, so as always, I like to include your guys' voice in these discussion videos. So before we wrap things up, I'm going to read off some of your guys' comments about the topic. But before we do so, prior to recording this video, I put up a poll on my Twitter, at Dan Allen Work, where I asked you guys, is Luis Severino's return the X factor for the Yankees' chance to win the World Series? Now, the poll is still up there, still active, so be sure to go over to my Twitter, at Dan Allen Work, and vote if you haven't already. Right now, we're looking at 68% of you are saying, yes, Luis Severino's return is is the X-Factor, could be the X-Factor for the Yankees' chance to win the World Series this year. 6% of you are saying no, and 26% of you aren't sure. You're saying maybe, maybe not. So we'll have to see. Me, personally, I really do think he is the X-Factor. He is an ace, and he really could be a difference maker in October. I really think he will. 
Alrighty, so moving over to the comments, starting us off is Shivan Joshi. If Sevi can be his dominant self and maintain his good pitches, he can beat any team. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you do have to remember the wildcard game two years ago against the Twins. Probably his best season, but that first wildcard game was not so good. However, he had a great bounce back and pitched very well after that. It was his first postseason game, so nerves were probably a large factor. Hopefully he can get some quality starts for the playoffs and dominate the rest of the year. Can't wait for the vid tomorrow. Let's go Yankees. Thank you for the comment, Shivan. Um, I hope we're saying your name right now. Yeah, after that Walker game two years ago in 2017, that was so, so brutal. Um, that top of the first inning was probably one of the worst moments of my life uh, when the Yankees were down 3 to nothing. It was not looking good. Um, fortunately, they were able to come back and win that game. Um, but, yeah, as for Severino, um, yeah, I really do want him to get some starts in. Uh, hopefully he can get at least, like, two, definitely probably not three, but hopefully he can get two starts uh, in before the playoffs. Same with guys like Stanton. I really want Stanton to get some at-bats uh, before cracking the postseason roster. Now, um, not to get too sidetracked, um, but any of you guys saying you want to leave Stanton off the postseason roster, if he's healthy, you're crazy. Come on. The guy won the National League MVP in 2017. Um, regardless if he gets at-bats before the postseason, if Stanton's healthy, I want him in that lineup. Uh, but for, yeah, for all the guys coming off the IL, you definitely want to have them uh, see some time before the uh, bright lights shine in October. Um, all right, thanks for the comment, Shivan. Moving on, we have On Obra writes, yes, exclamation point. If Severino can find his groove, he can be deadly with his strikeouts. It's all about the confidence, in my opinion. Inks have way more confidence in chemistry than they did last year. World Series, here we come. Yeah, now there's going to be a lot of you know analytical guys out there that don't believe in team chemistry. I do, and I totally agree with you on that the Yankees definitely do have more chemistry this year than they did last year. Um, as for Severino's confidence, any pitcher when they're pitching well, they're going to have confidence. Um, if they're not pitching well, they're not going to have confidence. So hopefully Severino gets a couple starts back for the playoffs, finds a groove, pitches some good games, uh, and hopefully he's going to feel good going into October and he's going to help the Yankees win some games. Um, g Dog 2022 uh, writes, I love Seve. He's a great pitcher. So with him back, we have a chance. Yeah, for sure. I mean, no, I think right now we have a chance. Um, but Severino coming back and same with like Batances and Stan, it only just increases our chance like, the most. Now, if I had to pick one guy out of those three guys to return, it definitely would be Severino. I mean, the Yankees have an ace in the waiting, so it's an accusation. I mean, the Yankees haven't had Severino all year. They have the best record in baseball, and now they're going to get him back, hopefully, barring no setbacks, and we'll see what they can do. Um, moving on, we have Formica underscore 2535. He writes, Seve can help if he is his first half self. Uh, he's referring to his 2018 first half. Um, he needs all three pitches working, and he has to not be a Nancy and say, I'll go four innings. If he got that swag, then we win a number 28. Well, I mean, I'll tell you right now. I mean, Severino, however long he goes in the game, that's really not up to him. I mean, it's up to how well he pitches and his pitch count, but it's not like he's like, I'm only going to go four innings, take me out, Aaron Boone, please. Um, so, yeah, I mean, depending on how many how many pitches he has and how well he's pitching, that's how deep he'll go into the game. Um, the Wildcard game last year, he only went four innings, but it was four shutout innings. Um, Del and Batances came on. Um, if he can give us that, then that's fine with me. Give me four quality innings. And you got to understand some. Severino's not stretched out, so I doubt he's going to go anywhere past the sixth inning at most. Um, so if he can give me four, five, six good innings, turn it over to that bullpen that's going to have Del and Batances back, <laughs> sign me up. Uh, moving on, we have Madden Mobile Legend. He writes, I think it is because when Seve's on his game, he's as good as anybody in the league, and having a guy like him is essential to winning the World Series. No, yeah, for sure. You need an ace. You really do need an ace. Now, fortunately, um, when turns to October in the postseason, Masahiro Tanaka turns into an ace. Now, he was the only game, um, he was the only pitcher to win a game last year in the Boston series. Uh, he wasn't amazing, but he did pitch five innings. I believe it was one run ball or two run ball. Um, so, yeah, you do have Tanaka, but, yeah, you really do need an ace. So, if Severino couldn't come back, that would be huge. Um, Jacob Richardson writes, hurry the blank up. We're being impatient. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm not going to do any more cursing on this channel because I've been age-restricted and age-preferred. So, um, if you didn't see my announcement, um, anybody under the age of 18, uh, it basically just means that you're going to be less likely to see my videos or be suggested to watch my videos. Um, so be sure to turn on post notifications. All of you guys should have post notifications on um, if you're a hardcore Yankee fan. All right, moving on. Thanks for the comment, Jacob. Davis Ozawa writes, absolute flamethrower who can go deep into games. There's a reason he's our ace. Don't care what anyone says. He has Cy Young potential written all over him. People are just so quick to write him off because of this dip in the second half. If the offense puts him in a position to go deep with run support, he can carry that and translate it into Ks. Nearly a 12K per nine in last year's postseason. Yeah, I mean, that just goes with basically any player, even Aaron Judge. You guys know how I felt about that. It's all what have you done for me lately here. Everybody gets on players who aren't performing well, and then all of a sudden they do well, and they're right back on the bandwagon. So, I mean, if Severino comes back and he shits the bed, oh, a curse. If Severino comes back and he craps the bed, 
people are going to get on him. If he pitches good games, then people are going to love him. Simple as that. I really think Severino is going to come back and dominate. Now, like I said, I don't think he's going to be pitching complete games. He's definitely not going to be pitching, you know, anywhere past probably the sixth or the seventh inning. Um, but if he can give us four or five innings, that's good enough for me. Four or five innings of, you know, one, two, even three run baseball, fine by me. Um, Brian Ahamian writes, oh, excuse me, Brian Ahamian. I don't know what was going on in my mind there. Uh, Luis is a stud and might be the only reason why Larry Rothschild still has a job. If he's on his A game, the Yanks will 100% win the World Series. Now, I'm not really in the business of criticizing Larry Rothschild. I have no idea like what he does as a pitching coach, just like I never really criticize hitting coaches. Um, I just, I've never really been into that. I don't know what his philosophy is or how much of an impact he has. Um, so I don't really talk about the coaching staff. Um, but yeah, if Severino's on his A game, the Yankees will 100% win the World Series. I, I kind of say I kind of agree with you, man. Um, if Severino's on his A game, then the Yankees really do have a good chance. I won't say it's a 100% chance, but I'd say it bumps it up to about 95%. Um, Chris6D writes, I would love to say yes, but we haven't really seen the stuff he's got this year. So for now, it's undetermined, but knowing Sevy stuff, i got to be inclined to say yes. Yeah, like I said, if Sevy stuff is as electric as it was in the first half last year, then there's no reason to believe that he won't win some game for the Yankees in the postseason this year. Um, all right, we're going to take a couple more. Um, John Murph writes, Severino has demonstrated a consistent inability to pitch well in playoff games. Unless he finds his groove, it's unlikely that it'll have a big impact. Um, yeah, he's had a couple clunkers here, notably being the wildcard game and ALDS game three last year against Boston. Um, let's just go over his postseason start. So his first ever postseason start uh, start was the wildcard game in 2017. He went a third of an inning, allowed three earned runs. He was terrible. Now, following that, he pitched against Cleveland in ALDS game three. Four it was um, in 2017. He pitched well. Six innings, I believe he threw. Uh, three earned runs, and he looked really good. So he pitched well there. Um, then against the ALCS, he had a couple, I think, like four inning outings with like one earned run, three earned runs. He wasn't terrible, wasn't great, wasn't amazing. Um, he was just like, okay. Um, so that you kind of just write off. Um, as for 2018, he was good in the wildcard game last year. He looked pretty electric. He only went four innings, but that mostly has to do with the Yankees' bullpen being so good. And Del Batanzas was great in that game. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's had some clunkers, he's had some good games, but, uh, I, th I contribute last year's downfall to him being burnt out down the stretch. I mean, he's going to have a full year of rest this year. Um, so I'm thinking hopefully he can, uh, return back strong and win some ball games. All right. So the final one we're going to take is Daniel Burgess. He writes, uh, I think it's the deciding factor. If we get him back, well, the Yankees are going to be hard to beat. Herman has been lights out so far. The starters are pitching better and that needs to continue. We need to win two out of three for the rest of the month. This team may be stronger than the 98 team. Go Bronx Bombers. This is the new murderer's row. Yeah, I mean, the postseason is what's ultimately going to determine this team's place in Yankee history. If they get bounced again, then this is just another year to write off. It's going to be miserable. Um, but, yeah, this Yankee team, it's got a different vibe than past teams. I mean, 2018, just did it, I don't know if it's because the Yankees were unofficially eliminated from the division so early, but... There was just not a lot of team chemistry to view, at least on the TV screen. Um, but this year, they just look like they're having fun. We're 10 games up on the division. This team is just... And also, DJ LeMayhew, Gio Urshela, you can't even talk about enough um, the impact that those guys have had. The type of hitters they are helps tremendously. Um, all right, so that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, be sure to follow me on social media at Dan Allen Rourke on Twitter and on IG and at Yankees Avenue and at NYY Home Runs on IG. And be sure to use code NYYHR for 20 bucks off your SeatGeek purchase. Playoff tickets have dropped on SeatGeek. So if you want to save some money, get some playoff tickets, use code NYYHR for 20 bucks off your purchase. Now, that's a wrap. I'll see you guys next time, and let's go Yankees. <laughs> Her body's gone like September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down 75 degrees in a dope sound All you need to live fine, to live fine A little sunshine cause she need it A dose of rainfall in the evening Crash down and we feel them Say here's through the nights we steal them And I be running cause I figured out The more I slow down the less I get out And if we fall let's be strong now Moving along we don't